Welcome back to the channel. During this flight of my DJI Mini 2 drone, I had a bit of an issue with the wind as it was gusting 37 miles per hour as I headed towards my destination. However, this did mean that I knew I would have enough wind behind me to get me back to my launch site without too much of an issue. All it meant was that I needed to keep a very close eye on my battery level, not necessarily the remaining flight time levels, to make sure that the drone didn't ditch into the sea on the way back to my takeoff point. The ship that is thundering towards us at about 14 knots as I stay static on the overhead hover is called ES Care. She's a general cargo bulk carrier and she weighs in at 35,000 tons. She has a length overall of 177 meters and has a beam of 30 meters. She was built in 2015 and her home port is Panama. Ideally, I would have liked to have got some footage of the port and starboard side of this fantastic bulk carrier. But because of the wind and because of the issues with my battery levels, the only thing I could do is chase the ship as she headed out towards the North Sea. Of course, the DJI Mini 2 drone is perfect for this kind of videography and is obviously much better than the footage that I could get with my DJI Avatar, which is currently actually up for sale. If you're interested in buying a DJI Mini 2 drone, then I'll leave an affiliate link in the video description. If you do happen to buy one through the affiliate link, then it really will help out the channel. As some of my regular viewers may already know, I've got the DJI Mavic 3 Classic on its way to me, and with a flight time of around 40 minutes, I should be able to get some better and more detailed footage of the amazing ships that I happen to see as I'm flying around. I really do enjoy recording this kind of footage that actually shows the ship underway. But like I said, ideally I would have liked to have filmed her on her port and starboard side and maybe raced up to her bow and sat about 50 meters off her starboard bow to get some footage looking aft. But there was no way that my battery on the DJI Mini 2 drone was gonna last that long. So at this point, I just raised my height just to get some more footage of this beautiful ship as she steams along. But if there's any particular angle of any ship or boat that you would like me to get once my Mavic arrives, then let me know in the comments. I'll be really interested to read what part of the ship you enjoy watching the most. Another thing that I'd love to do is sit about 20 meters off the stern and just get some footage of the propeller as she slaps through the water, pushing this magnificent ship forward. If you love this sort of footage of big ships and marine traffic in general, then be sure to give the video a like because it means that more people with similar interests will be able to watch the footage. And please also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really do appreciate every one of you who takes the time to subscribe. As I've said before in previous videos, I never know what kind of ship or what kind of boat I'm gonna end up recording with my drone until I get to my launch site. So make sure you stay tuned because I'm sure in the not too distant future, we're gonna have some really big vessels featured on my YouTube channel. I've loved big ships ever since I was 13 and I'm in my 40s now. So being able to see ships like this from the vantage point of a drone is a real gem. And I really hope you enjoy the footage as much as I do. Once again, thanks for watching. Please give the video a like and don't forget to check out my other videos. Let me know in the comments which video I've uploaded so far you enjoy the most and why. I always read the comments because it allows me to feed back into my filming. Until next time, thanks for watching.